Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about inheritance in C++. Before starting, you can note these information which include my app, books and YouTube channel. Now coming on to the topic, inheritance. So inheritance is an important feature of object oriented programming. It is a way to arrange information in hierarchical manner. Inheritance allows us to reuse code by creating collections of attributes and behaviors called objects which can be based on previously created objects. So in case of inheritance, we have to use uh, previously implemented classes or objects uh, to implement new classes and objects. In other words, we can say that in inheritance, a new developed class uses the attributes and behaviors of previously developed and debugged class. So this important, uh, sorry, this point is important for you, which says that uh, if you have developed a class and you want to reuse its features, then you can apply inheritance. So benefit of inheritance, it saves lot of time and human efforts of developing and testing the same code again. Now I am I am going to explain inheritance with a real life example. So the class from which attributes and behaviors are inherited is called base class. So the older classes are known as base class or it can be known as super class or parent class and the new class is known as derived class or it can be known as subclass or child class. So we can understand the relationship of, of inheritance uh, between classes with this example. So uh, in this example, a child inherits most of the features from parents or children inherits all the properties developed by their parents as well as they have their own properties. So here parent can be considered as base class and child can be considered as derived class because whatever properties parent have, they will be automatically belongs to child. So child can develop their own properties and they can also use the uh, parental properties. So we can uh, understand this example with the help of this uh, pictorial diagram. First you have to implement base class. Then you can inherit this base class into derived class. So in derived class you have features of base class as well as you have features of derived class. So you can say that the features of base class uh, used in base class independently and you can also use the uh, features of base class in derived class. So we are reusing features of base class in two places. Now this is the syntax of inheritance. So this syntax is showing a definition of derived class. So first you have to use class keyword, then name of derived class, then colon symbol represents inheritance. Then you have to mention visibility mode. Visibility mode can be private, protected or public. It is explained in next slides. Then name of base class which you want to inherit. Inside these curly braces, you have to define body of derived class. So the syntax can be understood with the help of this example. In this example, this class A is known as base class. Then another class is B which is inheriting base class A and inside uh, these curly braces we can define definition of derived class. So this is the general example of uh, inheritance. There are uh, many uh, forms of inheritance are available which uh, you can uh, uh, study in my later tutorials. So uh, this is very simple example of inheritance in which only two classes are available. Class A is known as base class and class B is using as derived class. So whenever you are implementing main function, you have to implement object of uh, B class so that with the help of B class object, you can also process uh, members of A class. Now visibility modes. So first of all, I'm going to explain private visibility mode. So when the base class is inherited by using the private access specifier, all public and protected members of base class become private members of the, of the derived class. It means if you create object of derived class, then through that object you cannot access uh, protected and public members of base class. 
second visibility mode is protected so in this visibility mode when we use protected as visibility mode of base class then all public and protected members of base class become protected members in derived class so they can be further inherited but they cannot be accessed in main function third visibility mode is public so when the visibility mode for base class is public all public members of base class become public member of the derived class and all protected members of base class become protected members of the derived class so in this uh, visibility mode uh, base class uh, members remain same in derived class so uh, public members of base class can be accessed by object of the derived class so this is best visibility mode if you want to access uh, members of both the classes inside main function through object of derived class so this is all about uh, fundamental or uh, basics of inheritance you can uh, watch uh, another tutorials related to inheritance to understand the depth of inheritance thank you for watching this video